Hi friends and parents, Teacher Jill here. Um, I have been really missing doing arts and crafts at school and so I thought today we could do an art project together. Uh, so this is a project that um, parents and kiddos can do together. So the supplies I use today is um, I have a black marker. You can use a pencil, a black crayon. It doesn't have to be a marker like this. Um, I have some tempera paint. Um, really kind of any paint will do um, for this project, anything you have around your house. I picked three colors. You can pick however many you want. I have a little bit of water in a bowl to wash my brush off. Um, a pair of scissors, just one piece of paper, and a little bit of glue. So that's what I have to get started. The first thing I did, and parents, you can maybe do this ahead of time, is I just drew a large butterfly shape on a piece of paper. This is like an eight by 11 piece of paper, um, so just kind of a normal size. And I drew it so it would take up most of the paper. And then um, since a lot of our kiddos are working on cutting skills, um, you can have your child cut out the butterfly themselves. They may need some help or maybe they're not yet cutting. Um, so you can do the cutting for them. The butterfly can also just stay on the paper, just an outline. It doesn't necessarily need to be cut. So I'm gonna cut out my butterfly. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so my butterfly is now cut out and I'm ready to paint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fold my butterfly in half and I'm only gonna paint one half. And I chose today to use paint brushes. You can use your fingers to paint, you can use sponges to paint, um, really anything that you, know, you or your child want to use. Um, you know, we are working on fine motor skills, and so um, kind of learning how to hold the paintbrush and make and make marks on a paper is something um, that we've been working on. So I'm going to just make some designs. I'm going to make a big circle on the bottom and a big circle on the top. And I'm going to wash my paintbrush off. I put some paper towels down just to keep the paint off my table and also so I could dab, dab the paintbrush. And I'm gonna add some pink. I'm gonna maybe make some lines. And then I'm gonna wash it one more time. Oh, it looks like I have another paintbrush ready for me in the purple. I'm gonna make some more circles. I like circles, making circle shapes with paint. And then I'm gonna take my butterfly. And parents, you can help with this step. I'm gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna press down really hard. And then I'm gonna open it up and see that both sides are the same. They're symmetrical. So I'm done with my butterfly. And you know, when I did this project before, I thought that I it needed something else. So what I did is I went out into my yard um, and you can find this on a sidewalk, you can go out, you know, wherever your outside is. And I looked for a small stick like this. So this is something you could do is go outside and look for a small stick. And I decided that I would add a small stick to the middle of my butterfly. So maybe after you're done painting, you can take a break and go outside. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue in the middle. And, and learning to squeeze glue bottles is another thing we were working on. So your kiddo can do that or you can help them. Either way is totally okay. And then I put my stick in the middle and there's my butterfly. Thank you so much for doing art with me today. I will see you soon. Bye.